Hey everybody, welcome to 2013. Hope you had a good New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Hope you had a good time, stayed safe and everything, all that. But it's a new year, it's a new start. And it's not a big movie day at all. Actually, the movies don't come out till Friday. Ten Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Ugh. I was bored. I just came to the revelation that it's... I have time to make a video. And I just wanted to talk about the... You Reviewers Awards for 2013, just really briefly. Even though I've only been making videos for almost a year now, I have been watching the You Reviewers for all two years that it's been around. I've been watching movie people review. <laughs> that was a weird term, but yeah, movie people, movie reviewers review for over four or five years now. It's been a while. And it's just, now that I'm part of this, I feel obligated to talk about it. The You Reviewers Awards, it's like the Oscar season, but with YouTube people and the Nominees are made by people of this community, and they are given out by more famous people of this community. For lack of a better word, people with more fans and people with more stature. The U Reviewers Awards back in 2011 was really cool because it was something different. It was different from the Oscars, and for people who really are into movies and really feel the love for it, this was something different and appealing. Last year, it got even better, and there was an upped ante because we had celebrity cameos, we had more guest appearances that were there to nominate people and finally give out awards. I'm not going to lie here, looking back on last year's edition of You Reviewers Awards, it did feel a little artificial and a little too close to the chest in a way that it just felt like everybody was playing it safe from what I remember and just felt like because there was a studio presence now with ENTV so it was all, you know, don't do anything stupid. That's not a bad thing, I mean, we, it, organization is amazing, and just to get more composure is a, a good thing, instead of just going out there and throwing everything in a way. But this year could be, the third year is always the charm, in my opinion, there is a charm, and the year of viewers this year could be something really awesome and amazing, because we have a few things here, we have a lot of established, whoa, voice crack, we have a lot of already established YouTube reviewers who are ready to talk about the nominees and finally give out awards. And we have probably some celebrities who would definitely be on board already to lend a hand. And But then there's also the community, and the community is growing by the day. For starters, I think the U Reviewer Awards generates buzz in a great, fascinating way for both YouTube channels and bloggers and everything, and for movies themselves. Because somebody who has never watched any of these things before can go onto YouTube and check and find out about this from word of mouth, which word of mouth is very important too. Watch one of the U Reviewer nominations and notice somebody that catches their eye. Just say, for example, Pretty Much It, who I love very much. And they could check them out and see like, oh, I like these people. Subscribe. And then from here on out, they could become more fascinated and more involved and to integrate with movies themselves. And if they weren't big on movies themselves, they can now become more fan-based into a movie, and they can talk about these movies that they didn't hear about before from pretty much it, which they heard from first, to other friends of theirs. And then the, the buzz just generates and spreads and diverges to others. Going off of that tangent, the Euro Viewers Awards also gives attention to movies that don't get that much press and also don't get that much love. For example, Safety Not Guaranteed. That's a movie that not many people know about. Really, not that many people know about it. And if I wasn't a part of the You Reviewer community, nor if I was a movie fan, I would not hear about this movie at all. But since I am, I have the ability and the power to watch it, which I'm going to soon because I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to watch it, and if I love it, I'm going to spread it around the people I know. And that's going to generate buzz for that movie. And it just... The You Reviewer's Awards can generate buzz for upcoming directors and upcoming people who just want to be involved in the industry, it gives a little, you know, lending hand. Here you go, here's a push. Also, there are flaws and corruption within this community. It's tough to admit, but there is. It's like everything else in this world. There's always something wrong. There's, there's always something to battle against, unfortunately, but it's true. Things like this, the U Reviewers Awards, they bring the community together and they, they create a bond and I've Telling from my experience, over the last year, I have, over the internet and over real personal connection too, I have met a lot of people who I hope to increase with bonding and friendship. I create a lot of memories and friendships with people who I really could care about. I mean, no matter what happens or no matter what people think, everybody in this community 
has a love for something and it's movies and just that connection alone could bring everybody together in a way which is formidably impressive. I would like to believe that this whole thing isn't a competition, but in some ways to some people it might just be. But the Year Viewers Awards, even though all year people might be competing for views or ratings or viewership, everything, the Year Viewer Awards is the time of the year, like Christmas with families, where we all come together for one common goal to celebrate movies and give awards to movies that truly deserve the awards. And I'm, just, I'm still very proud to be a part of this community. And as long as it exists, I will be there, no matter what happens. And I just, I can't wait for the Reviewers Awards in February 2013. For those of you who don't know about it, now you do. This whole scabeel has been specified and talked about by people who have better vocal skills than me, which I would like to believe I do have good vocal skills, but it has been spoken about, and I just had to get the word out there before it starts next month. So, Year Review Awards 2013. If you don't know about it, look forward to it. To everybody else, though, to quote a respectable Jets player, note I say respectable, Bart Scott, can't wait. Can't wait. Year Review Awards 2013, baby. It's almost here. I have an academy. And we have the schmoes, bitch.